everybody. I'm Lisa Schneider Cipriano with the Cowboy Lifestyle Network. You know, so much of the Cowboy Lifestyle Network is so much more than just bull riding and rodeos. It is actually a way of life. And joining me this morning is Julie Brady. Good morning, Julie. How are you? Now, I understand you are the public relations gal for the Cowgirls Historical Foundation. Yes, I'm honored to be so. Tell me about this foundation. Is it just here in Arizona or in the Southwest? Well, we're based in this valley, but we actually have the opportunity of traveling and being invited to many different places because the cowboy interest is worldwide. We have been invited to Ireland where we met with people from there as sister city organization. And recently they're just having an event in Scotland where they're doing a nudicone exhibit. A fashion historian has created this awesome exhibit and that is the designer of the clothes and the tailor that we wear. Foundation, I understand that this is a designer who focuses on a lot of the Cowgirl Historic Foundation clothing, which is vintage clothing. Yeah, actually, the clothes that we use are mainly from three main designers from the 1950s. It was Hollywood's Glitterati age of Roy Rogers and Dell Evans, which many people are familiar with. It actually happens to be that it is 100th birthday, 100th birthday of Roy Rogers coming up, and so this type of clothing is really going to be popular and focused on. You'll notice a lot this year of 2012. Tell me a little bit about your foundation. What is your mission and what do you do with the community? Well, we actually have a mission statement to support our Western heritage and anything that has good things that are praiseworthy and advance our history and trying to teach our kids some of the great things from the past. We like to support that, especially focusing on people who um, deal with helping children, horses, and community events. We actually donate more than a thousand community service hours annually. Mm -hmm. And there are certain people in our community that are from here, such as Debbie Gaby, who's a wonderful uh, example of community service. And she's actually an honorary cowgirl. That's wonderful. Now, Debbie Gaby is the president of Sleep America. And I know some of the things that you do do is you were a part of her catwalk. Um, fashion show a couple weeks back but now I know you also ride in the Tournament of Roses Parade. Yes that is indeed an honor that's one of the biggest parades in the world it's very hard to get in and we have been fortunate enough to be riding this is our sixth consecutive year of riding in the Tournament of Roses Parade there's more than a million people who line that parade route and as uh, there's about 18 equestrian entries that are in that and so it is truly an honor to be involved, to be riding in that parade. And we showcase our vintage tack, our saddles. The girls are wonderful, talented uh, women of accomplishment, equestrians. And then our clothing is, again, from that era, the 40s and 50s of that Hollywood era. Well, and speaking of that era, I think we have some cowgirls who are gonna come out and model some of those designs. And I think we're gonna take a look at them right now. So let's look. First, we'd like to welcome in Taryn Hale. Okay, now who is she wearing? Taryn is wearing a beautiful Nathan Turk outfit. He did a series of these in the 1940s. If you can see the back, Taryn, show them the back. With It's a famous saddle, a silver saddle, because that was during the Glitterati age of Hollywood, and they did a lot of the parade saddles. So that is a beautiful rendition of that. Kiva, Kiva James. Look at that. Now, who is she wearing? She's wearing a very beautiful Nathan Turk jacket. He was very famous also from the era of um, the Roy Rogers Glitterati era. He was very famous for his tailoring. This jacket has actually got very geometric shapes and a very fun pizzazzy outfit. Brittany Truman, we'd like to welcome Brittany in. This is a very awesome outfit. It was actually made for a backup singer for the Conway Twitty Band. Those gals are so beautiful, Julie, and you are sporting a beautiful outfit yourself. Let's stand up and let's take a look at you. Okay, well first I'll tell you a little bit about this outfit. It actually was made for a husband and a wife. They didn't both wear the same one. This is the wife's. And the husband's outfit is exactly similar. And it was made for the Country Music Awards and they were a very striking couple. So I would just like to share that. You can see the details of this. Absolutely stunning, that is so pretty. Give a special thanks to Jim Rose, who's the general manager here at the JW Marriott Camelback Inn Resort and Spa in Paradise Valley, Arizona. 
I think the Cowgirls Historical Foundation has a little something to say to all you guys out there. Click on and hang on with the Cowboy Lifestyle Network.